Hi, this is Mark from Two Dog RC. I'm going to show you how to use a new pair of boards for charging your batteries. And he's going to charge up to six batteries at the same time. You always want to make sure that you use the same cell count, two, three, four cells, and the same capacity battery. You know, three 2200s, three cells, two 2200, two cells. So you always want to make sure they're the same type of battery. First thing you do is you plug your pair board into your charger, like this, okay. Then take your batteries, got one here, gonna plug it into, just plug it into the first one right there. And if you have more than one, plug them all in the charge port first, wait a couple seconds, it says a minute, then start plugging in the balance connectors. You can plug into any balance connector ILS on this side or this side. It doesn't matter because it's a separate circuit than these. So wait a minute after you plug these in, then plug these in. You get a little green light to come on. It's good. Now what you do is you go to your charger and you know, just set it up to charge. This should be plugged in here. So then what you'll do is, if they're all three cell batteries, set your charger for three cells. And the current really depends on a lot of variables, but basically you'll probably be able to output as much as your charger will let you, depending on what you're charging. For example, this is a 50 watt charger from Bantam. This is pretty old. This is about six years old. Uh, maybe more than that, eight years old. Um, and this is a 50 watt charger and it can only do up to five amps. So I'm going to set this to three amp, three cells, 11.1, five amps. It, that's about all it can do. It really can't even do that much. Uh, basically to figure that out, if this is a 50 watt charger and you're charging 11.1 or three cell batteries, take 50 Divide it by 11, and that's roughly your charge capacity that you're going to set in the amp hours. That's the max. And then what it does is when it charges, let's say you're charging at 4 amps, and you have 4 batteries. Each battery is going to get an amp. So it just sees this as one big battery. Um, so that's how that works. And then when you're done, just disconnect them, balance port, charge connector, and you're done. If you want to do more batteries, you have to use a bigger charger. If you have a 100 watt charger and you're charging three cell batteries, you can roughly charge them at about nine amps, eight and a half amps. Uh, can push from the charger and that's gonna divide it up by your batteries. So if eight and a half amps comes to here and you have four 2200s, that's about you know a one seat charge. It's gonna take about an hour to charge. But it's real nice to be able to charge a whole bunch of batteries. Um, I've got some big chargers over there that we use that can charge a little bit more. My max output is 10 amps, so that's about uh, what we can do there. So if you want to charge more batteries, you need a bigger charger and then bigger power supply as well. If you have any questions and you would like to buy one, visit our website, 2dogrc.com. Thank you.